I am going to do a very gentle exercise class with you today. This will help improve your circulation and your independence. If I can give any advice, it's get up, get dressed and get yourself moving. Okay, so here, today we're just going to start off with a few simple neck bends. So what I want you to do is to put your chin towards your chest slowly down and move back up. If you hold it for five seconds on the way down and move back up. Looking down, move back up, down, back up and last time and back up. This time what I want you to do is take your ear towards your shoulder and then back to the middle and off to the other side. Back to the middle, off to the other side. These types of exercises will help improve your vision and ensure that you avoid any trip hazards that you might see. You don't want to flex your head too far so that you feel it uncomfortable, but just feel a nice little stretch. The final one of our neck exercises is to turn your head to the side. So just looking as far as you can go from side to side. We'll do this five times in a row. And that's the end of your neck exercises. We'll now go on to exercise our wrist and our fingers. So what I want you to do is hold your arms out straight. I want you to lift your palms up towards the sky and then down towards the ground. If we do this five times, Our second exercise is um, to exercise our fingers and what we're going to do is lift our hands out straight again in line with your shoulders and we're going to clench our hands as tight as we can and release and stretch our fingers out again. These types of exercises are going to help you to open jars and packets and do things like um, do your buttons up which helps you keep your independence. Three, four, and five. Well done. Our next exercises are going to be for our feet and our ankles. This is really important to keep your ankles moving and your feet moving. It will help increase the circulation, help with walking, and make you more aware of being able to put on your shoes. So the first one we're going to do is toe raises. We're going to lift our feet up and down. And we're going to repeat this one 10 times. So just a gentle stretch back on the heels. And another two. Our next exercise is bringing your heels up. So on the point of your toes, bringing your heels up. You can really feel your calf muscles working in this one. Again, we're going to repeat this 10 times. Our third exercise to improve the mobility in our feet and ankles is a simple toe tap heel and toe. So imagine you have a coin on the floor and you're putting your toe in it and then your heel in it. Toe, heel, toe, heel. And the same on the other foot. Again repeating it ten times on each foot. And our fourth 
fourth exercise for our feet and ankles is ankle rotations. So what you want to do is bring your foot up and rotate it one way, clockwise for five, and then anti-clockwise for five. And repeating on the other foot, lifting your leg up, two, three, four, five, and then repeating it the other way. Well done. Our next exercise is for our shoulders. What we want to do with this exercise is to sit forward in our chairs, okay, and lift and engage our cores. And what we want to do is bring our shoulders up to our ears and back down again. So lifting up as far as you can go and back down again. Lifting up and back down. Three, four, and five. And then we also want to go circulate our shoulders backwards. Three, four, five, and then forward. This really improves the mobility in our shoulders and enables us to get washed and dressed much easier. Our next exercise we're going to concentrate on is our legs. This is really important as it can help us get off our chair and even help us to get on and off the toilet a bit easier. So again, I want you to sit forward in your chair and what we're going to do this time is what we call knee bends. So we're just going to take our foot back and forward and the other one back and forward. You can alternate your legs or do five on the left and then five on the right. It's up to you. Just bringing it back as far as it feels comfortable. This really helps your knees keep mobile. And one more on each leg. Okay, the next one, I really want you to sit back on your seat. This is slightly more difficult. And what I want you to do here is some leg raises. Okay, I want you to try and bring your leg up and hold it to the count of five and pop it back down. If you can't hold it to five, just hold it for as long as you can and then take it back down. As you get better at this, you'll find that you can hold your leg for a lot longer. Our final exercise again, I want you to sit forward again on your, your seat and start marching. So just bringing your legs up and down and your, get your arms moving and this will really help the circulation and get these legs a little bit tight, uh, looser and get the muscles working a bit better. Okay, well done. Our next exercise is bicep curls. So what I want you to do here is sit forward on your seat again, pop one arm over the bicep of the other arm, keep your elbow into the side and clench your hand up towards your shoulder. As you get better at this, you could add in bottles of water and use them as a light weight. This will really help you strengthen your arms for lifting and carrying things. Well done. Our final exercise today is to work your tummy muscles. So what I want you to do is to cross your arms in front of your body and turn from side to side. Two. Seven, eight, 
nine and ten. It's important with that one that you don't turn too far to the side and strain your body just enough to feel it a little bit but not push it too much. I hope you've enjoyed these exercises and that it, it helps you improve your independence a bit more.